this week, Libya has witnessed a level of destruction that has never been seen before, according to the government in Tripoli, Libya. And yesterday, Libya buried thousands of people in mass graves, according to the officials. And such teams still scoured ruins left by, by the devastating floods. And the city's mayor from the city of Dana said that more bodies are still being discovered and so far close to 11,000 dead people have you know dead bodies have been discovered the deluge swept away entire families on sunday night and exposed the vulnerability in the oil rich country that have been mired in conflict since the removal of muammar gaddafi the flooding and the devastation were caused by this strong mediterranean storm they have so far given it a name, Daniel. And the storm caused a deadly flooding in towns across eastern Libya. But the worst hit town was the city of Dana. Because in this city, there are dams, two dams nearby. And the walls of these dams could not hold the weight of this flood water. So the walls were breached and the water came downstream to the villages below. And that's how they ended up with entire families being, you know, killed by these floods, according to the mayor. But it also points to something else. Corruption. Libya, unlike before Muammar Gaddafi, has become a very corrupt country. According to the government in Tripoli, they had allocated 2 million euros to do reinforcement and repair to the dam's walls. But some companies pocketed that money, the 2 million euros, and no work was done. So today we have this situation because of what has become of Libya. It's a shadow of its former self. Definitely, Muammar Gaddafi is turning in his grave, seeing how his Libya, his beloved progressive Libya, has turned out to be corrupt. And then there's Barack Obama, the former president of the United States. During his time, he ensured and oversaw the destruction of Libya. And today, he feels guilt. So he has asked or dispatched his Obama Foundation to go to the city of Dana and help with this humanitarian crisis. He tweeted about it, asking people to donate so that they can help the people of Dana because of what has become of Libya. Now, I don't know whether it's mockery or guilt, but he's asking people to donate. But shouldn't Obama be asking corporate America to donate because these are the people who asked him to destroy Libya? But we know that is not possible. And these are some of the things that reminds us of the wisdom of Muammar Gaddafi, a man who once said that NATO had the intention to weaken Russia and invade Russia so that they can sit on top of the oil and gas in Russia. He said that. هو احتلال البترول والغاز والفحم والحديد هذه المناجم بما فيها الذهب اللي موجود في روسيا في القوقاز وماهوش موجود عندهم عاوزين يحتلوها والله لازم تاخذوا بالكم بجد في عهد موجود انا حي ولا بعدي ولا منها هذه الكلمه دائما مسجل وموجود لا شيء حلف الاطلسي يقدر يحتل ليبيا وممكن يستشهدوا كلنا الا اذا كان في حمايه قوميه هم العربي كله عنده قوه عسكريه الاعتداء على ليبيا اعتداء على كل العرب الاعتداء على لبنان اعتداء على كل العرب الاعتداء على موريتانيا اعتداء على كل العرب